Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. How are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear, half of you would just rot your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, how can the folks disappear? Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Well, I'll get some eyes out. See if we can track him down. Okay, I think that's the place. Up ahead. some hell. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducements. Now get out of here. 
Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I that. said. You said your last words. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find a girl. It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's mm -mm -mm. get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly! Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Go on in front of the boss. Bring them back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right, get after them. There, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. You picked the wrong girl. They're heading down the hill, to the water! Oh, you're gonna pay! All of you! And there they are, my... Shawmine! Let's finish these scum! We can't let these animals get away! You got it!
Look at the floor for a bit. Okay. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Coward. Get off me. Funny bastard. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time. Oh, shit. You're wasting your time with that girl. All right, all right, damn it. Get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? 
She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah! Now get out of here. Darky White! Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him! Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off of you! Come All on! Right. And I'm right. tall, you, you lily livid! Enough! Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty-faced streak of piss! Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! These posters, where are they exactly? They got them all over town. Check the train station, wherever they'd likely to advertise rewards. Now, tell me again, where are the wanted posters? We saw some on the main street and hightailed it out there. I think they got one in the station, too.
Christ. Not sake. much we can do here. Let's go back to camp. All right, I suppose. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, Mo. I need that post. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Hello. Hey, mister. Is the 
saving his wife to be with that young Eliza. Oh? Look out! Good evening. Good evening. as bad as you made out there. Bad, they worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe, gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. 